activity for two years, they're gonna know exactly what they need to do. They are chock full of instinct. She's like, oh, are you taking my picture? Yeah. <laughs> they're a poser, aren't they? And they were, uh, they were really pretty, huh? Mm -hmm. We are D and Allie. Come along and join us aboard Journey. Oh, oh yeah, seasons change. No promise of tomorrow, but that's okay. Just live in the moment day by day. February brought more windy weather. Dee and I always like to walk down to the waterfront and see the anchorage, which we then realized how fortunate we were to be at the dock. We were forever thankful to be at the dock in Key West during this time. The 1st of February sadly brought the death of one of our AC units, the one we considered the main unit for Journey. Fortunately, City Marine and Homestead had a great unit for us, and it was delivered the next day. Maybe the not-so-great part, other than having to get it into the space it needed to be, was finding out that we had two thermostats of 1,000 that would not plug and play with the unit. So we got a new thermostat as well. The black does look better on our power panel. Next, we met some new North Carolina friends, Vic and Danny, who were in Key West celebrating their 10th anniversary and joined us aboard Journey. Vic is hoping to one day make this adventure happen for his family. We had a great time hanging out with Vic and Danny. Danny and I had a photo shoot on the bull, but only Danny gave the bull a ride. But we enjoyed watching her. <laughs> Soon after we arrived in Key West, we met the owners of, the, of a Grady White center console next to us at the dock, Tom and Becca. They have a house here in Key West, but as I prepare this video, I know that that house has been sold and they are building a new home out on Stock Island in a beautiful little cove. But through Tom and Becca, we met Richie and Philip, who were in town to play at Hogs Breast Saloon. Philip is part of the Talisman group who played with Gene Simmons. We enjoyed sharing journey with them and hope to cross their paths again, especially if they are playing music. Speaking of music, we also met Justin and Jamie, who are part of the Blurry Truth, a small three-person band out of Tampa, Florida, and they recorded this song, On Board Journey. Dee and I continue to explore the Keys and steal any type of beach time we could find. The Keys are not known for their beaches, but we were able to find a few spots to explore. Sunsets were always beautiful, and a kingfisher loved our lights at night and always dropped by to fish when we had them on. The bite was home to dolphins feeding in the shallows and a new creature for us. The sea slug swam by one day.
The end of February brought the arrival of our good friends, Brad and Cindy. So good to see them again and hang out. We enjoyed exploring Key West and of course sharing our favorite spots, especially where the margaritas are found, like Old Town Mexican and of course Sunset Tiki Bar. The weather was great so we were able to get off the dock and share another adventure into the backcountry with Brad and Cindy. The time passed too quick and we hope to get them back on board soon. We close out our Key West time with another visit from our Naples friends Jack and Mindy and finally make it to the wine bar we have been talking about for a while. Our last guest will be our daughter Hannah and it is our first time aboard Journey and we are excited to share Journey with her. Hannah is pregnant with our first grandchild so bar hopping will not be in order this trip for her. So our first stop is the Turtle Hospital in Marathon, Florida, where we learn all about the different types of turtles, how they are rescued, named, and cared for at the hospital until they can be released back into the sea. It was a great stop that we recommend. We shared some favorites like the chickens, caught the horses on the beach one day. We were sad to see her go, but we need to start our trip north to be close for the, when the baby is born. We say goodbye to Key West on a beautiful St. Patrick's Day and head up to Marathon on the bay side and Dee caught one of the biggest Sarah Mackles ever in just 10 feet of water just as he was getting ready to pull in the lines. We're super excited about supper, and with those steaks, this fish will feed us a few times. Our stop in Marathon for a week was to relocate our Jeep for the move up the coast, and of course a stop for happy hour at Castaways. Yum. Living in the moment, capturing enjoyment. Oh, we are living in the moment, life full enjoyment. 